Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Revolutionary greetings. Una welcome to our daily podcast. My name is Kapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King. Background music from Chris Will. Fellow Ambazonians, this one night program will bring on a meaningful information, critical analysis, the truth, and knowledge based activism for help push Ambazonian liberation and independence forward. Una welcome. For this episode, for this podcast, we go to expose Ndawara as we would then finally get a confession from one of the bodyguard with the RSC for inside Ngwa. Say the fighter the way they bring them from inside Nigeria, then come on for Kaduna. Some of them na fighter the way they don't fight with Boko Haram. This one are the first time we would get evidence, confession for place where this fighter did come out. We don't always know say they come out from Nigeria. We don't know exactly which place, but today we don't get uh, confirmation. Say some of those fighters are Boko Haram fighters being brought into our territory. Four of them were involved in the killing of the chief in Esu. But first, we go on for take a moment for salute the people then for Bole Bakundu, where the chief for the Moto Philippe Ide in running because the occupation forces, the Camaro military, they retire away for Kili because then a chief will then be amongst the people them. He always listen for them and he then deny for good join that they are colonial house of chiefs. They did make fake up uh, allegations say he be involved in fighting. The Camaro military they then born in palace, born in house, and uh, the village people then be in shock. This is what occupation looks like. We will continue to work with the people for inside the great state of Meme for make sure that they defend themselves and protect themselves against Cameroon terrorism. Every time we come and Cameroon military, they won't kill anybody. They go accuse and say it be links with the military, the Ambazonian military, them, Ambazonian army, them. All those accusations are false. Chiefs have no links with our military, our civilians, just like Bebe Mata. Where they be execute them, you know, get no links with our fighters. The pastor where they be kill them for Insa Maoto because he hung Ambazonian flag, he no be get any links with any military person. The war for Cameroon, na an illegal war for target innocent unarmed civilian, for kill them, for torture them in the name of fighting uh, separatists. It is illegal, it is wrong. And they shall lose. They are on the losing side of history. If the Cameroon government it be fierce, it will get away with genocide, because the war it be so busy for look for Africa, the war between Russia and Ukraine it will bring for the limelight and the forefront for diplomacy, this issue of occupation and state aggression against a people. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, make we go directly now for the issue, for the fund for Isu where they don't kill it by by Fulani headsmen, uh, Boko Haram fighter, the way they don't bring them, they can't begin commit atrocity inside our territory. I go give una a history from Dampolo. He, he accesses them. And I go advise say, any man will hear the only audio for this episode, for this podcast, today, number 16 day, that means say for this Wednesday, make you try to look the video because I will put some document there up, make people then see some publication them for this podcast. For man where you don't know Dampolo, Baba Ahaji Dampolo Amadu, na he get Ndawara Estate. The estate, he get cattle ranch, he get na he be buy the plantation for make tea for Ndu, and a very, na the richest man for the whole France Afrique. Ndawara Dampolo, na the point people them, where did he use them for exploit we? And did he share the money with La Republic Napobia a top eight? In the beginning of this liberation, the person will be dialogue with the teachers them and the lawyer them. You know, be being at the colonial governor Lele Afrique, 
you know be be na the colonial minister but pobia he be seen na alaji baba dampolo make him meet up the common law lawyers them they become na right for has for come meet up if we get direct message from mr pobia then we no work pobia said na he me come for frund frund he has like his personal envoy he can deliver message for he so dampolo na direct representative for the undercover exploitatory machine where the colonial administration then get them for inside uh, Ambazonia. The money where they make them, you need the end of a pocket. In the end of the poor beer, they pocket them as well. So I go go directly for explain una which way they happen, make our people they need to die because of ignorance. It go shock the whole Ambazonia for no send Dampolo it the claim Dampolo owned by power. 75 percent of isu village one man a foreigner he don't take land we never buy you never pay one dollar this the coming of uh, dampolo now how he start ebb now for 1986 we fai yengo francis <laughs> when i don't know the person again fai yengo francis when i be the disarmament person where pobia he don't appoint him when nobody see for TV, give any interview, because now he be the actual person where they run this DDR center. Now Paul be a right hand man. Now a brother where they call him, Fai Fai Yengo Richard. Now he did for the IG. Now he be the now he be manipulate things them. Now he be that move inside the IG. Anyway, that one a story for another day. So Fai Yengo Francis. He be being at the SDO for womb for Menchum. As we know, he be take money for aid for Legnos people, then chop them. For 1986, Fayengo Francis, he be take the mayor for womb, where na Abraham Dinka, say make them go meet up the phone for ESO. At that time, he be being a late Mbe Mbu the second. Dampo, then we go for on behalf of Damporo. When a poor beer be send them, then go there, the chief say make then give some small land for Dampolo, this big millionaire they call him Dampolo. When he go come for day, he go help for bring development, he go bring water, he go bring a lot of things them for inside uh, Menchum. The phone in a good heart, he talks he go issue a temporary permit for cattle grazing. He send elder them for village, then go for some small place where they call Anna Wandele. For instance, Esu, then give him on a temporary basis. Send me the Ndawara, Araji, uh, Ndampolo, he start the ranch for day. If he start the ranch, he call the name for that ranch, Na Alba. As the elder them, be the go for go sh show you that place. They are rich for water. He talks to me, then give you that water too. Access for that water, make out then go to come for that water, then can drink. Now from there, the Dampolo, after the the phone it didn't die, it he claim now, say over seventy five percent of Esu land belongs to he, because that chief he be giving land, he be giving a foothold, he the one take all land, he then destroy houses. Seize other a cool people them where they don't still live for centuries. Make una no doubt na why that wanna see say all the imams the Ardu for instance mention the Rai later for distance themselves for the action and activity criminal activities of Dampolo. I go put a list, a long list for close to three hundred people them when a victims them with Dampolo is then seize their land, seize their cattle, drive them. Dampolo he been the only individual where they don't carry go down for the Human Rights Commission for United Nations because of a crime against our people. So from giving Dampolo a small la land for uh, Wandere where it be approximately two to three square kilometer meters, Baba Dampolo now occupies the whole stretch of land where it cover the whole kingdom. In the south, Munkan, Kenjong, 
in the north and the whole of Iwo in the west, displacing thousands of people, burning down their houses. And guess what? Baba Dangpolo get no documentation or land title or any document signed by the traditional ruler for Eso or any of those villages them for claim that land. But yet, it is used now the Cameroon military, Cameroon gendarmes, Cameroon due and SDU for force itself for people that land. For make benefit, we need to enter for instance Ambazonia. Most of those cattle that is supply na Yaoundé and Douala straight from behind come young them. The Dampolo, it don't open court for inside a house when I be judge, it carry out judgment where it be implemented by the Cameroon military. Wait till it can make and suit the can key the current chief. Now, I say the Dampolo, it one plan uh, this uh, pillar, this boundary pillar them around the place and where they claim them, say I own. The chief for inside way they don't kill it, don't oppose them, it don't fight them for all kind of way. The Dampolo, he pay bribe over two million to the youth president for the day they call in Anzo Christopher, Mayor Pasca, and you get uh, another Mr. Ivor Kana when I prince them also. All of them, they don't confess. After, after they confess, then drive them for village. The phone, it is still fight, this fight, before the one can take his head, go with them. And the things in this way, they happen. At one point, they elder them, they write a petition for the colonial Cameroon government. They send a petition for the Minister of Territorial Administration. Then copy one for the gov co colonial governor, the colonial SDO, the special branch, and the gendarmerie, and even one to the presidency of Mr. Paul Bia himself. The Cameroon government respond by sending Cameroon police them from Bamenda. They can arrest they elder them for inside the village, then go for lock them for womb. The, sec the public security commissioner for womb in deny for detain them, then transport them by night, take them go and for inside Bamenda, go lock them up. Quarter them for inside Esu, where we be very, for inside Menchum Day, where we be flop with activities like ma Malo, Ewo, and even for Wondere, Dawara, it don't drive all inhabitants them for day. If we be in a place where we get market, if we get uh, facility them for day for it will be booming with life they don't drive all people them for that area they use them completely now now for 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 gracie cow for 1993 the dampolo if you bring gendarme them then come with bulldozer them for move people them for inside esu village for all the for all the entire wandere then kill a lot of people them some of the villagers they put the number to over 40 something people they will slaughter them during that operation by the Cameroon uh, gendarme. One of the testimony, now one of the driver, the way they recall now Augustine Fu, he then recount how they be busha Cameroon military, they be busha people them for the for move them for make way for farm for land make uh, Ndawarai cow they the chop them. The teacher also where they call it Charles Nzi, the shooty military then shoot to kill them so between 1999 to 2008 over 170 family then be kicked out of their ancestral land for iwo malo and uh, zeng uh, nkenzong for the year 2000 baba uh, dankolo dampolo he come in person with heavy tractors and camaro military then can move people by force for inside village from Iwo, the remaining one way they will remain for Iwo, then go dump them for inside town for Isu. Some of those displaced people them, they will stay for palace till today. All village houses them for that area they will be broken down completely. Dampolo, he also he don't occupy village them for Isong, Inzim, Munkep, Munka, Tokensong, Sangwa, Me. All this one are villages and we one man he don't occupy them. And it will be interesting for our people for no say the Huda issue, you get more than forty thousand people that live there. One man he go overpass all of them. Because our people they live in fear, they live in darkness, they need to be aware about information, even when information did they need to act upon the information. 
as I always talk for this war. Lion in the sorry cow. Because if lion is sorry cow, he says that he could die hungry. And Bazunia, they must choose whether they could be in a cow for all their life or they could be in a lion. Because we're getting a war of lions. Dampolo, he don't enter not be only for inside Menchum. He don't come right even for Boyo. And as he enter for place, he take one case. He shows sample for the people them. Just for this uh, 2016, as this war, it one start. Dawarai cow them. They enter for inside village. They want occupy some village for inside Belo where they call them Biancam. As a cow, they enter for day. They, they enter broke fence, chop people their crops them. One woman, he wake up for shout, for try for drive the cow them with stick. They, now the Cameroon, Colonia Dio for Belo. He come, he descend for the village with police officer them, dressed in pure military gears. They arrest five people them for that village, detain them, take them go down for Fundong, charge them for court. They are charged now say the people they don't contemplate for cause harm for cow. <laughs> oh, then charge them for court without any evidence, then condemn them for one year imprisonment and for pay cash fine. The people the way they be cash them, you get uh, Dinga Cipren, Asama Madeleine, Tifu Ferdinand, Obed, Ibia, Nang, Mercy. Now the people then that way they be then prosecute them. One of them, it be being a woman, we get a nursing mother with two year old picking. They also find the picking guilty and sentence the Pekin also for prison for the same. This is what colonialism is. They use even the court, they use police every day against our people. And we are sitting quiet. We don't connect the dot. They do one from one village, go to the other. One state, one district, go into the other. Like a cow without tail. And Bazunia then just don't. For nineteen, for two thousand and thirteen, they submit uh, the Mbororo people them for Boscuda. They want them for some NGO they will call an Alumeru for, for for minority people in that village, and then you also get the uh, Sepa, that is Community Agriculture and Environmental Protection Association. They will make submission for United Nations Human Rights Council. You for their for the period for the sixteen sixteen session for June two thousand and thirteen. After all means for resolve or for bring it to book inside La Republic, their court system it don't fail. Petition right for even Mister Pobia it takes it don't fail all because uh, there were a day for day now for La Republic then day for day now for Pobia for exploit our people. That is just crude exploitation of our people. After the case he be be heard for the United Nations, Dawara he, he convoke through the Cameroon court for Insa Bamenda, the the president for Moscuda, Mr. Usman Ndamba, Musa, and the vice president. But when they go for court, then can the, the judge he give them bail. Mr. B Baba Dampolo, he tried to assassinate them. He sent people them there as try to assassinate the following people them. And we did make a police report to that regard. Mr. Jaido Donui, when they Moscuda, they are their legal officer. You also then try for assassinate for first of July. They also try for assassinate for the 18th of July, then fail. Then you get other five Moscuda. Remember them. You get Mr. Jaido Ndoni. You get uh, Mr. Amadu Isa. We're not the executive, not executive member for Moscuda. You get Mr. Sali Haman, regional president of uh, the Litura branch. You also get Mr. Dahiru Belumi, local counselor for, for the group. And then you also get a veterinary nurse, Jaiga Doni. We then try also for uh, murder them. Uh, by people the way now the Dampolo is sent them me the murder he, he adversary them I go post a video we contain over 300 and something people them where they don't fall victim direct victim 
of uh, Mr. Ndawara, the exploitation for inside Ambazonia for Savannah State. They will, I will put their names, their location, and the details of the things and way Ndampolo is then taken for them with, with power. For the document, when I go see the people the way the Baba Adamu Dampolo it then seize their land without compensation. For the lease we it over to if you screw down the lease as we go to hear this part, when I go to see the video, he get for the one way then displays them seize their land, he get sixty four people them. All them you know they see Omaru, Jibri, all Muslim name Saidu, then day for day. This one I named them for Muslim people them. When I go see say for the list, you get the amount of cattle the way season for them. Sixty cattle for some one one hundred cattle and the thing in that way then the water with the duam. Below that list, you go also see displaced person without compensation property confiscated by Baba Dampolo. Also, you go see Adama Aya for Jikami this descendant he get uh, 18 picking them then sees uh, five hectares of land we get house farm orchard and coffee with a uh, euclid too so you go down you go see different different people that name this one he named naase muni also for njikami he gets 16 picking them then sees his six farm with orchard so the list go on and on to one of people that name the way the land sees their farm. You get uh, David Nguyen for Afo. The CC land also for day. You see this one for here. Now Fang Joseph. Then CC land. You get five, uh, 12 la fa farm them. Then the sees them all. Genesis. They name them day. So they go past 100. When I read the name, then come down. This now the people. Then this be well documented. Over 100, 164 of them. And then you get a group of 249 women them for Big Babanki also. You get the one for, for Afo. The list is long. Then now you get property confiscated by Baba Ahamdu Dampolo. Property, just property them. You see, na 60 cow, that 40 cow, either the Caesar, a hoha. You give for the, you get intimidation, arbitrary, arrested, tortured people, people locked up in a prison. Now the people that need the money, that way they pay them. People that ride from womb, from banja, for, for, ride for duala also, he catch them. <laughs> Bambui, ndop, bambili, when I see Sabga, Nkambe, now they name them that as I they turn this thing, the they, they, they list they go on. Then after you get women forced into marriage and concubine or exile, that means they push them out of village. Now they name them that. When I go see the list, they go on and on. Husbands whose wives were seized. <laughs> Saidu, even other people, their wife, Yaya, Anugu Ardus, that na community leader them, dispose of their land, you know. He remove their title to them, then that. He create he own court inside a house. So people will then go and exile because of ye. These are their names. With their own village. So when I see for myself, na references, when I check the archive for justice dignity.net when I go get all those information. So how will us as a people allow this crime to go unpunished without defending ourselves? Obviously the Cameroon government na they partner ye na they facilitate ye na they strengthen ye me they for they for exploit we because it job for they na for exploit we. So our people them when I need to know why is Ndampolo there? One now for that cow them. If we know one me the day, all that cow them must go. All what are now for Nigeria when I go buy in Gamalin them. 
Dampolo cannot pass 40,000 people in Esu. And our people cannot take things like this and think that by staying quiet, it will go away. It will not go away. It will not go away. So we don't put them out. They say people they die now because of lack of knowledge. Now we all are here when I need for no way to do. God bless you now.